Hello everyone. I'm struggling today. I don't know. I don't know. I do know. <laughs> I do know why. And as you've seen in my last video, I was saying that I, I would just like answers. I need answers as to why these multidimensional beings are coming to me and I'm not getting it. And I'm stressed. I feel also like my life here on earth is so minimal. I, uh, I don't know why I feel that way. I don't want to be trapped in the human cycle as being asleep about my surroundings, my path in life, and just living the life of going to work and coming home and paying bills and then going to work, coming home, paying bills. And in my case, I don't do anything fun because I can't afford it. I don't have that extra money. So that makes it worse. And I don't want that life. I just don't want that life. I don't want to go to work and come home and pay bills and not do anything else. Every now and then, I can afford to maybe go see a movie, which is a treat for me. I really love going to see movies. But deep down inside, I know there's more to this life of mine that I need to be doing. I don't know what that is, and it's driving me crazy. I, I yearn to travel. I, I want to heal people, animals, uh, and I don't know why I feel like I can, but I know I can. It, it's confusing. It's like deep down I know that I'm a healer. I know without a doubt. Even being a little girl, I wanted to heal people. And a part of me is wanting to travel the world and heal whatever entity comes to me. And I keep seeing elephants. I, I love, I would love to see elephants. But elephants keep coming to me, and I don't know if it's a place I'm supposed to be going to or what. Up until my awakening, I didn't want to travel. Uh, well, I would fly, but I didn't want to travel as in drive around. Driving long distances used to be excruciating. But now, since my awakening, when I drive, I enjoy the surroundings. I love the way Earth changes its landscapes. I feel like I'm getting deep into something now. But yes, a part of me, I would love to go to Africa, Thailand, Hong Kong, and Tokyo. Just places like that. I don't know why. I want to go uh, to Bali. I want to go where people struggle, where I can help them. This is the life that I want. This is the life that I am striving for. Um, now, since my awakening, I started this U YouTube channel before that. But now, my, my I should say my work, my uh, goal in life has changed. And now my videos are about what's going on with me now. And now I kind of want to transfer some of it to my future. I feel like I need to expand. It's it's very hard to describe. I feel like I'm in this bubble and I'm with a, a needle trying to pop the bubble, trying to get out where I can go further and further. I feel like that's who I am. They, they have, uh, when I say they, I don't know who, but they have showed me myself as a light being and who I was once before. And I, I'm so beautiful. I, I was full of light in one and then another. I had big green eyes, almond shaped kind of, not tremendously almond shaped, just wider. And I had lighter blonde hair. And I was, I was like in awe. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so pretty. It was, my, one of them was my light being self and it was amazing. I was full of white light. Uh, I, I feel like for some reason I'm being held back and it scares me. It really scares me to have this boring life. It really does. And I feel like I'm being held back and I don't know why on that either. I feel like at 53, which is my age, 
I feel like there's not much more that I can do. Uh, maybe 20 more years, no, maybe about 10 more years at most because my body's been through a lot. I've been in a car accident that had injured my spine and I, I live in pain and sometimes it's pretty bad. So I give myself and pushing it 10 more years to where I can do stuff and, and be okay with it. So I'm like, I hope my remaining 10 more years is not gonna be this boring. Because life, I feel, isn't supposed to be so minimal. I at least don't want my life to be minimal. I, I want to, I want to expand and be limitless. And I think all of us should do that. This video has kind of gone to where, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm uh, doing a sermon or something preaching I guess I don't know I had to take my contact out I know you guys aren't familiar with my glasses I try not to film in my glasses um, I like them but then I don't like them but I have worn my contact too long and my eye I can still feel where my contact was and my eye is kind of dry and rigid feeling where the contact was and so I put drops in it last night and today it's kind of scratchy so I'm gonna try to wear my glasses a little bit longer so that, that can heal. I'm trying to do videos every day and I'm sorry if I'm boring in a lot of them, but I do try and I hope you see that. Um, I kind of want you to see that you're not the only one also having a boring, simple life and that it is possible to expand if you try. And that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying so hard and I know YouTube will help me. And, and I want to uh, financially help other people when I can. And, and I also want to say that you can start a YouTube or even a TikTok and go as far as you want and, and start making an income where you can live your life in the fullest that you can and travel and just do things that you want to do. It's, it's a, I know it's a way. I have kind of started a TikTok and I don't remember my name on it. I need to remember that. I should post it, I guess. But it's going faster than my YouTube, which is funny and odd. I don't know why. So I'm gonna end this video in my little rant and I am really sorry if it wasn't beneficial to you or it was boring. Some of these videos also is like a diary to myself. So I can go back and look, oh wow, you know, I've come, I've come quite a bit away and have improved myself and or about my visits that they have expanded and I've got answers and things like that. So once again, I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you all tremendously and um, do what you can to improve your life. I'm sending you love, life, and peace. Bye.